Welcome to a healthy living video blog at workoutmaster.com. This is Ruben and this is Aaron. Today we're going to talk about nuts and seeds. They are pretty much all over our diet, unfortunately, in our opinion. So let's tear these ones apart. Yeah, I guess one of the uh, greatest dilemmas that we have in nutrition right now is to uh, learn to identify which carbohydrates are good for us and which are not. And in that category of school, of course, you know, you're going to feed in, you know, with uh, nuts and seeds, although they're high content in fat, also often are actually considered just being fats themselves, but they contain also uh, amounts of carbohydrate. And in regards to that opinion, why is it that there's so much discrepancy whether you know nuts and seeds are a good viable form of nutrition for humans or they're not? So there's a lot of a lot of things that we've been reading and looking into it in the past couple. Yeah, months. there's there's a quite a quite a lot of controversy. We used to say that if you soak, they are better for you, right? Which is true. Uh, so, let, two biggest things, Ruben. Right. Uh, about so the, the major thing about uh, nuts and seeds, they are full of polyunsaturated fatty acids. We call them PUFA, P-U-F-A. Uh, more and more research coming out, or at least it's been out, but it comes out to us that we read, that we start understanding uh, that polyunsaturated fatty acids create a lot of trouble for your human body. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a major reason why you would want to avoid them. Absolutely. Yeah. Because they, no. they do inhibit you know metabolic functions. They create a lot of problems. They have con they're high content of phytates, which you know they inhibit the, the ability to absorb a lot of minerals and a lot of uh, vitamins for that matter. No, no, they're po polyunsaturated fats, just themselves. They're yes. full of polyunsaturated Absolutely, fats. Absolutely, but I'm talking about the nuts themselves. Okay, they have okay. a lot of phytate and yeah. stuff, yes. So, and then the second biggest problem is seeds are designed to procreate the planet. That's correct. So if anybody, uh, let's say, attack you and want to eat you, you would probably going to create some sort of damage. Yeah? Hopefully. As much damage as you can create. Well, plants don't like to be eaten too. So they have a protective mechanism and the nut and seed is basically a form of procreation. It's like yes. a little baby. So if you eat a little baby of the plant, they want to create some sort of damage. So what plants have installed in those things, uh, they install a protective mechanism that is designed to disrupt your digestive system. That's correct. So th there's some animals that adapt it right. to eating it and they can in fact convert that polyunsaturated fatty acids into saturated fats. And they can create some energy out of it and other things of that sort. But as human, I don't believe that we can to the degree that it's actually a viable option for us to eat them. So uh, let's put it this way. Some people probably not going to notice a big difference right away. Mm -hmm. But over a period of time, that will probably create a damage on any human body. That is correct. Yeah. So big, two big things, polyunsaturated fatty acids, if you don't believe in it, well, then there's another thing, it's called interrupted digestive function, which is a big thing. A lot of people, like Ruben and I see a lot of clients every day, there's a, always a problem with digestive system. I, I have a hard time even meeting people that don't have a problem with digestive system. Because it's totally uh, normal. And, and we always talk about that if you want to be healthy, you want to have a good digestive system. Right, and oftentimes people say, well, I feel fine. And I question that I ask him next is, you know, you feel fine in regards to what, or how can you say that you, re you, know, that you feel fine? What is your point of reference? If you never felt better before, well, that's the only reference you have. But if you can do certain changes and modifications and start feeling better, then you can use that base as the catapult to feel better and to know that there's better things that you can do, that there's other changes that you can create that will bring about better feeling. Yeah. Now, if you guys insist on eating nuts and seeds, just at least make sure you soak them. Uh, I would recommend you just stay away from them for a period of time. And you know, just experiment guys. Try to stay away from it and see how you feel. If you feel better, chances that that's what it was. The, a more open mind we have to things, the better it is for us. Yes, and if you insist on consuming a lot of polyunsaturated fats coming this time in this episode from nuts and seeds, make sure that you combine them at the very least with some type of saturated, uh, saturated fat, like coconut oil, butter, etc. so that you can downgrade the negative effect of the PUFAs in your body. Okay. Did you want to mention anything else? That was it. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you stay away from nuts and seeds, your future looks better already. Thank you for watching, and until the next time.